Uh, so we are back today, guys. Don't know if you, I know you remember this one. Yeah, the bad pressure control wasn't allowing the unit to shut off. Both coils froze up. I put that uh, pressure control in there just for now, just to kind of get them by until I get the right one. Once we got the right one, um, the only thing it looks like it doesn't look my capillary tube is going to be long enough to mount it in the same spot. But that's okay. We're going to mount it. We can mount it inside of there. Um, so the only fun part about this is underneath here where the pressure control is tied in is there's no um, core there. So we got full pressure in there. All right, so since there's no valve core underneath where the pressure control ties in, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, um, I'm going to pump this system down via the receiver instead of the solenoid. So I front seated that valve all the way in, allowing no more refrigerant flow down to the system. And uh, I'm going to turn the unit on and let it pump down into the receiver all the refrigerant. Um, I'm also going to shut the suction service valve just because I know I always get back pressure especially on this system. I've, I've worked on this system before and that will allow me to have minimal pressure on that um, where the uh, pressure control is tied into. I don't want to pull it into atmospheric pressure because I don't want to have to pull a vacuum or anything. I just want to pull it down to maybe 10, 15 PSI just so that I have enough that I can change it on the fly and not have to pull a vacuum and not have to add um, any refrigerant. So I'm just going to shut this valve just because, just because I know this system. And it's pumping down. I'm going to end up with a slightly positive pressure, 15, 20 PSI, which is um, workable with, especially to do on the fly. I don't recommend doing this if you don't know what you're doing or that if you aren't very confident in um, what you're doing. But basically, um, I'm going to have pressure coming out after I crack that nut for that pressure control and put my new um, pressure control on there. There is going to be refrigerant coming out. There is going to be some pressure coming out. And I am going to be doing it on the fly. Um, it's going to be very minimal pressure, very minimal refrigerant loss. I won't have to pull a vacuum, nor will I have to add any more refrigerant when I'm done. All I have to do is open up the valve on the receiver, open up the valve on the suction line, and turn it back on. And in theory, that works perfectly. 